Are you desperately trying to break 100, trying to break 90, trying to shoot lower than 80 for the first ever time? Well, I might have something to help you. A straight bias driver and a legal straight flying golf ball. Surely the perfect combination. Let's do it. And let's do it now. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson and welcome to this YouTube channel. Guys, in today's video we are putting together what should be the ultimate perfect fairway finding combination. Let me explain. You see guys, it is new golf club season and that doesn't just mean new golf club season, it means new golf ball season as well. You see guys, recently I reviewed the brand new Mizuno STZ 220 driver which claims to feature a straight flight bias. I also reviewed the brand new Wilson Trier golf ball, which you guessed it, yep, says it here, a more stable flight and more fairways hit. So if it says it on paper, then it must be true. What we're going to do guys, we're going to test that against the combination that I have been using recently, the new TaylorMade Stealth Driver and the TaylorMade TP5X Picks, clubs that I'm used to using. We're going to test it out here on the golf course, we're going to test it in the simulator room at Woolley Park Golf Club and we're going to see just if this straight flying driver and straight flying golf ball is going to help you break 190, 80, maybe even 70, who knows. We'll kick things off here on the second hole. Tiger line over the trees. Oh, that's glorious. That's a good start. A very good start. Okay guys, pressure on the Mizuno-Wilson combination already. Comment below, is this going to work, or is it just more uh, kind of marketing and sales jargon from both these companies? Same line, straight flying ball, straight flying driver. Yeah. Two good shots there, that went noticeably higher. Remember, I'm not a machine, so the difference in impact may have altered. But let's see which one is closer to the middle of the fairway when we get down there. Now you see guys, I actually find all this quite refreshing because we always hear the claims of more ball speed, of more distance, because that's sexy, that sells, that makes golfers want to go and buy the product so that they can knock it past all the friends. But for a change, it's just nice to see some of the bigger brands go, you know what, people aren't really that bothered about hitting it further, I know you all are, but people are actually bothered about keeping the ball in play, shooting lower scores and beating the mates that way. Okay, so for the first hole, I'm going to call that neck and neck, because let's be fair, there's not really much between those, is there? Why can't I do that when it counts? Not that it ever counts for me, because I just play because I love it. Comment below if you play because you love it. Now, I hear what you're all saying. How is it possible for technology in a driver and a ball to provide straighter golf shots? Well, we'll start with the ball. Wilson claimed that with the Triad golf ball, they've been able to make a higher MOI ball by moving weight from the rubber core to the inner thermoplastic layer. I'm not going to lie, that took a couple of takes and I had to, had to, had to memorise that. So Wilson claimed that they've been able to design a higher MOI ball by moving weight from the inner... But, um, yeah, so the picks is there as well. So for me, I went a little bit further. That's not what this video is about, but I know you'll be interested. Let's move on. I mean, I suppose you could say the Wilson was more central. I can't really give a win for that, though, because they were both, both pretty good shots. OK, so that kind of is the story about the ball. But what about the driver? What about the Mizuno STZ220? So Mizuno claim it has their Z-axis design, which basically means the weight is evenly distributed between the toe and heel providing a straighter ball flight. Well, this is a drivable par four into the wind. So let's test that with both the straight flying ball and driver and tailor-made stealth. Switch things up, we'll go Wilson and Mizuno combo to start with. Could this be the new people's combination? Then we'll go tailor-made. Right, the line is there, like there for the green. Oh, that's not straight, that's left. It's safe, but it's certainly not a straight flight. What about tailor-made? Guys, remember, if you want to see an indoor comparison with this exact setup, I'm hitting a ton of shots in the simulator. Please stay tuned for that, that could get quite interesting. The wind is not helping us here, so this has to be a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. 
that's lovely now this is totally unrelated but i'm quite enjoying the new tailor-made driver actually and that could be on the green you know we haven't lost the wilson but i strongly think this is how this video is going to play out i don't think a golf ball and a driver can overcome impact factors a closed face an inside swing path which is what both of those were that's my hypothesis big word i know so guys the straight flying wilson is here now that's actually not too bad i mean I'm, i i will be lying if i didn't say i wasn't aiming over there because i was and that's where the pix is just up near the green is that straighter than if i would have hit that swing with the tailor made or another combination maybe that's gonna be hard to tell stay tuned for the studio for that and somehow guys the standard tailor-made combination has just snuck over that bunker there leaving quite an easier shot to this par four okay guys final hole out here on the golf course and we're going to jump in the studio and we're going to see just how much difference there is when we hit a load of golf shots guys get in the comments below so far what do you think so far that just wasn't a good golf swing is my hypothesis going to prove right can these rectify this i wish they could right we'll go tailor-made first this time because we're going to keep it as fair as possible and i'm actually going to try and play a little draw into the little bit of wind off the left here so that's another thing you want to be able to play that shot if you need to oh yeah that's lovely start drawing wind brings it back it is in the rough it's not a bad shot though into this wind can i do the same with the totally legal straight flight combination that's another thing if this did work surely everyone would do it like everyone oh yes please that is the shot i pictured that's in the fairway and that's definitely a win for the mizuno and the wilson guys let's jump in the studio let's see exactly what did happen when i hit a ton of golf shots with this straight flying driver and ball combination then let's get back out here see just how those two drives have finished and have a little bit of a discussion so guys when we went to the studio i hit a ton of golf shots with both the wilson tri golf ball and the mizuno stz 220 driver now i hit some great shots i also hit some bad shots this was the worst shot that we hit all day um not so much of a straight flight about this this was immediately followed by the best shot of the day and it's not just because of distance you'll notice that i have had this set on a golf hole that's fairly tight yeah we drove the green on this hole and it is a little bit downhill because i do enjoy playing this hole on the simulator but that went very very close then we moved into the tailor-made stealth and the tailor-made tp5x combination and this was exactly what i expected it was very very good it performed well the ball speeds were good the spin rates were good everything was pretty much how i would expect it but how did the both compare because i hit more golf balls than ever before in this test let's take a look at the dispersions and the numbers with both these combinations and after all of those shots you can see that even on one of my favorite holes on this simulator there's a few um not so good ones so if we look up here to the right hand side you'll see the red ones are the tailor-made stealth and tp5x combination the yellow dots are the straight ball flight combination with the wilson ball and mizuno driver um fair to say it varies so you can see on the left hand side there we have two of the worst shots of the day however also with the yellow we have two of the best shots of the day i will talk you through numbers but i think this pretty much sums up what we're what, what we're what we're talking about i think this pretty much sums up what we're talking about really so numbers for everybody i hit 10 shots with each combination so if you want to kind of browse through them you can some good shots some bad shots some low spin some high spin when you hit 20 drives there's always gonna be if we look at the averages just to give you a bit more of an idea you can see the tailor-made tp5 and tailor-made stealth 157 ball speed 2500 spin and carry 276 283 total the straight flight combo 156.3 2441 277 carrying 285 total not a lot in it so let's get back outside and have a bit of a chat so guys there you go just as my hypothesis would state i don't think there's too much in this do i think that the wilson triad golf ball is a great golf ball absolutely yes i do do i think the mizuno stz 220 driver is a fantastic driver yes do i think that together the wilson ball and the mizuno driver can keep up with a tailor-made combination yes um this is a result of the last shots 
by the way, if you hadn't have guessed it. But do I think this is some kind of legal witchcraft which is going to make you hit more fairways, shoot magical lower scores, and just hit straighter golf shots? No, I, I, I don't, I don't. If that's what you're wanting to do, then I do suggest going to get a few lessons, learning how to square the club face up a little bit better, learning how to produce a more consistent swing path which you can rely on, and I'm going to leave it on that one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed that, smash that subscribe button below. Leave us likes. It means the world to me that you are enjoying these videos, and I'll see you exactly the same time tomorrow. Don't be late. Bye!